everyone, my name is Lisa Ann, and today we're talking about how to create your own Instagram ads in a proper and an effective way using Facebook Ads Manager. In my previous video, I gave you an introduction to Instagram sponsored ads. We discussed what Instagram ads are, the type of Instagram ads you can actually create, and we identified some of the reasons why you should consider running Instagram ads for your business specifically. So if you haven't had a chance to watch that video just yet, I actually put the link right down in the description of this video that you're watching. Today's content is part two of that video. So I highly recommend you head on back and watch that one first if you haven't done so. But today I'm going to walk you through step by step the process of making your own Instagram ads. And I'll also be providing you with some tips on how to make your ads better and how to see better results. So there are a few ways on how to make Instagram ads. In this video, we'll tackle one of the two most used ways in creating Instagram ads, promoting an existing post using the Instagram app and creating ads using Facebook Ads Manager on your desktop computer. The process on both are quite different, so make sure you watch this whole video that is focused entirely on creating Instagram ads using Facebook Ads Manager. So let's begin. So using the Facebook Ads Manager, before we dive into the step-by-step -step process, it's important to first discuss the three-part structure of a Facebook Ads Manager account. Knowing how these three parts work together is essential for the success of your Instagram ads. So the three part structure of the Facebook Ads Manager starts with the campaign level. This is the foundation of every ad you will make on the platform. It houses all of your assets. This is where you will choose your campaign objective and actually set your ad campaign budget. Now on the ad set level, the ad set level determines how your ad should run or who your ad should run to. It is where you're gonna define your audience. You're gonna choose the placement of your ad. You can set the budget per an ad set optional, and you can actually schedule when you want your ads to run or even shut off for you. Now the ads level, so this is the three parts. The third part is the ads level. The final level houses your actual ads, what your audience will actually see on social media. This is where you actually set up your ad creative, you're gonna choose your format, and you're gonna set up your ad tracking. Now this structure, it may be confusing at first, but it's actually really simple. In general, ads in Facebook are structured in three hierarchies referred to as levels. The campaign is at the top level, followed by the ad set level, and then finally, the ad level. Now, another way that you can look at it is to think back on how you organize all of your photos on your hard drive for the year. Let's say that we have a main folder for everything that we've done with traveling, meaning anytime we travel somewhere new, we will actually upload all those photos under the travel folder. This folder will act as that high level campaign level. Now within that travel folder, we have multiple photos of all the individual locations that we've traveled to. So essentially, you're organizing your travel folders into mini folders. So let's say for an example, I have my travel folder and then I have a subfolder for New Zealand, Australia, Spain, Mexico, and so on. This is your ad set level. All the different places you've been to or all the different audiences you're gonna to run to. And last but not least, you have all the individual photos inside of those subfolders or the mini photos showcasing your trip. So for example, under my Australia folder, I have hundreds and hundreds of photos from my trip. This is our ad level all the different individual ads you want to show different audiences with the same campaign goal. Does that make a little bit more sense? Okay, so now that we are fully aware of the structure of Facebook Ads Manager, let's proceed in actually creating our own ad. So navigating the Facebook Business Manager. What I want you to do is go to your Facebook Business Manager homepage and then click on the Ads Manager tab. Then. Choose the ad account you want to use. 
You're then gonna choose your campaign objectives. Now on your Ads Manager homepage, what you need to do, all you gotta do is click on that green button. You'll be prompted to choose one from the 11 different objectives. So for Instagram ads, you can actually only choose from the following eight objectives. And I'm gonna break them all down for you. So here are the different campaign objectives for Instagram ads. The first one being brand awareness. Choosing this objective lets Instagram show your ad to people who are most likely interested in it. The main goal is to increase your brand awareness. Next up, we have reach. With this objective, the algorithm will present your Instagram ads to as many people as possible. These people, they might not be interested at all in your ad actually. Now another ad objective that you can run is traffic ad. So the main goal for this objective is to send people to your website, to your messenger, or even to the app store for your app. Now by choosing this objective, you'll need to provide the link to your website, the link to your messenger, or the app store where you actually want people to go and visit. Now the next one is engagement. We hear about engagement all the time. This objective lets you get more people to view and engage with your posts on your page. For Instagram ads, you can only choose the post engagement option. Now app installs, with this objective, you can actually send people to the app store where they can purchase or even download your app. Now you will need to choose only one app store platform to promote. So that's either Google Play Store, you have your Apple App Store, those ones are for mobile, and then you have your Facebook Canvas for desktop apps. Now another objective is video views. The main goal for this objective is to get as many views as possible on your videos by promoting the video to as many people as possible. Now another one is lead generation. So if you want to collect information from your prospective customers, you can choose this objective. This is where you can collect their name, their email, their phone number, whatever questions you want to ask them. But you have to keep in mind though that Instagram has specific requirements for this objective. In their Business Help Center, there are two articles worth looking at. The first one being design specifications for lead ads on Facebook and Instagram. And the other one I want you to check out is recommendations and requirements for lead ads. Now another objective is our conversions objective. With this objective, we can drive people to take a specific action, such as making a purchase on your website or maybe downloading your app. Now to track and measure conversions, you need to set up your Facebook pixel in your app events. It is so, so very important to make sure that you're actually choosing the best objective for your campaign because it's going to allow Instagram algorithm to deliver your ads in the best way possible. So each objective, look at it as your goal. Now, have you chosen the objective for your ad campaign just yet? Great. Don't forget to name your campaign and let's continue on. Create an A-B split test is optional. With A-B testing, lets you change variables such as your audience and your placement to determine which strategy performs best in order to improve future campaigns. So if you want to compare different Instagram ad strategies, you can actually use A-B testing. But I typically don't use the A-B split test option that's available to us because I do this manually for all of my ads for personal ads or even any of my client ads. Now the next step is going to be setting your campaign budget. Now this one is actually optional as well. On the campaign level, you have the option to set the budget for the whole campaign by enabling the campaign budget optimization or CBO. The CBO option will essentially distribute your budget across ad sets based on the performance of the ads. So for example, let's say that you have four different ad sets or audiences that you're targeting. If you set your daily budget to $20, that amount will be distributed among the four different ad sets that you have, but more will be spent on the most performing ad set where a smaller amount will be spent on the underperforming ones. So it's not gonna be $5, $5, $5, $5, $5. It's whatever one's performing the best is gonna get most of the budget. Now let's hop on over to our ad set level. 
So under this tab, we'll discuss your budget, your scheduling, your audience, as well as your placement. So let's set your ad budget. If you didn't turn on your CBO option from your campaign level, you'll be given the option to set the budget for your ad set specifically. So for example, if you had three ad sets, you can either set equal or different amounts for each ad set. Instagram will then go out and spend the whole amount on each ad set, whether or not the ad set is doing well. Now the next option is to schedule your ads. You can set a start and an end date of when you want your ads to run or shut off. You can also set the specific times for the ads. Next up is defining your audience. So just below the budget and schedule section of the ad set level, you'll find your audience selection. In here, you'll have the option to define your target audience. So who is that dream client for you? You can choose the demographics, the interests, and even the behaviors of the audience. You can also save the details of your audience to use it for other ads that you're gonna create in the future. So that's why I always talk about understanding how you can talk and speak to your dream client. Now the next section is going to be choosing the placement of your ads. You will have the option to choose either automatic placement and manual placement. I suggest the manual placement option when it comes to Instagram ads. Because after you click on the manual placement, you'll actually need to tick off the other platforms such as Facebook and audience networks. That way your ads are only running on Instagram. Now, if you scroll further, you'll have the option to customize the placement. You can choose what part of Instagram you actually want your ads to be seen in. Is it the news feed, the explore feed, or even in the story sections? Now, after you set up everything in the ad set level, click the next button. Moving on to the third step, ad level. Again, the options in the ad level differ depending on the actual objective that you chose from the campaign level. What I want you to do is make sure you select an Instagram account. You have to connect your Instagram account to your ads manager, your business account, in order for you to run some ads. You can do this by clicking on that connect account button, then logging into your Instagram business account. Note that you are required to have a Facebook page that is linked to your Instagram account in order to run ads, okay? So the first thing that you're gonna do is choose your ad format. We discussed the different types of ad formats last week in my last video, an introduction to Instagram ads. So make sure you check out the link below in the description to learn all about these further details. Now, depending on your objective, you will be offered to choose from relevant formats, okay? So everything's gonna be a little different based on what you chose for your campaign level. Now to set up your ad creatives. For best results, you need to customize your ad creative, such as the text ads, the call to actions, and the actual photos that you're using. Now lastly, let's talk about publishing. After you've set up everything in the three levels, click the publish button. If you configured everything correctly, your Instagram ad should now be sent for review. So I wanna make sure that I give you some tips on Instagram advertising as well. So for your next Instagram ads, or before you publish the ads that you just created, listen to these five tips that will help you get the most out of your Instagram ads. First tip is to use text wisely. In making Instagram ads, every character counts. Technically, Instagram allows up to 2,200 characters, but for most Instagram ads, the only two rows of the text will display without being cut off. That means you need to use the best text that will connect with your audience and will encourage them to engage with your brand. Which takes me to my next tip on engage. In every Instagram ad you publish, I am sure that you will receive comments and likes on the content that you promoted. You need to keep an eye out to be sure that you respond to each engagement or comment as much as possible for you. Your overall response can make the difference in achieving the goal of your Instagram ad. You will not only make a good impression on the ones who's commented, but also to every individual who sees how well, or maybe how not well, you address your potential client's concerns. Tip number three is all about hashtags. In adding hashtags to your Instagram ads, you need to do some research. 
to see which hashtags are more likely to be searched for by your audience. What are they following? What are they searching? What are they typing in? But moreover, you need to decide how long the hashtag should be and how many hashtags you should use. According to research made by TrackMaven, posts that use nine hashtags have the highest post engagement. But from my previous experience, it's between nine and 11. Now, in addition, they found that the longer hashtags often perform better. Now, another tip for you is to post at optimal hours. One of the things you can customize in creating your Instagram ads, as we discussed earlier, is scheduling when your ads will go live. I found research made by CoSchedule about the best times to post on Instagram. According to them, the best time to post is between 8 and 9 a.m. And they specifically suggest to avoid posting between 3 to 4 p.m. You have to note, though, that the results will vary depending on so many factors. One of those being the location and the time zones and whether or not your client's location actually matters. If you sell services, for example, and you operate out of one big city, then people outside that city or state, they don't need to see your ad. That is unless you're providing remote and national wide or nationwide coverage. These are just a few examples of things, some things that you should consider with your Instagram ads. But with that being said, if you're running your own Instagram ads, this will take some trial and error before you find which one works best for you, because it all comes down to who you're targeting, what actually is in the copy and obviously the times that you're posting. So make sure you're measuring the performance of your ads. And one of the best benefits of using the Facebook ads manager in creating your Instagram ads is the type of performance that you can view for your ads. So keeping an eye on your results is the key to refining your strategy and making the most out of your Instagram ads. Now for people who are new to Instagram advertising, the process of creating might be a little overwhelming, but that shouldn't be the case. I hope this video has helped you better understand the process of creating your own Instagram sponsored ads. But that's it. Armed with the information that I shared last week and today, you are now ready to run a successful advertising campaign on Instagram using the Facebook ads manager. And if you want to know how to promote your existing Instagram posts using the Instagram app, I want you to comment below. We can discuss that more in detail in the next coming weeks. But of course, as always, thank you so much for listening. And I want to end this off and ask you one question. Do you run your own Instagram ads using the Facebook ads manager? How do they perform? I want to know. So please let me know in the comments. And if you're still not sure if Instagram ads are for you, and if you're in need of some consulting as someone who specializes in Instagram marketing and advertising, I am always here to help. I've actually put my contact information right below this video inside the description of this video, or even in the about section of my channel. Now, if you've learned anything new, anything helpful, anything different today, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more information or more marketing content designed to help you grow your business, raise brand awareness and increase your overall brand using social media. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.